Before we begin talking about using Web 2.0 tools, it will be helpful to understand what we mean by the term Web 2.0. Let's go back to the very beginning of the web in the early 1990s. Web 1.0 refers to the World Wide Web in its earliest stages of evolution. At that time, if someone wanted to develop a web content, they had to have a lot of knowledge and skills as well as access to expensive hardware. For example, if they needed to know HTML or hypertext markup language, which is the code that is used to create a web page. In addition to no HTML, a web content developer had to have access to an expensive web server that was always on and connected to the Internet. In Web 1. Point, web content flowed in one direction. For the few taxway web page creators down to many users who could send the content in ways that were prescribed by the developers. The control was top-down, pages were connected through hyperlinks, and there were leader multimedia. That is why the Web 1.0 was also known as a read-only web. Gradually, things began to change. In the early 2000s, a transformation began to happen as a result of technological changes that made the Internet and the ability to develop content more accessible and a new generation of web-based tools appeared. These tools, which were later known as Web 2.0 tools, allowed anyone with an internet connection to create and upload content to the web at a very low cost or even free. Creators did not have to know hypertext markup language or purchase a server. In contrast to Web 1.0, Web 2.0 is democratic and bottom-up with users creating content, sharing it and collaborating with others. They may never meet face-to-face. -face. Web 2.0 is known as the Read and Write Web. For example, in Web 1.0, users read stories according to what the publisher considered were significant. In Web 2.0, users decide what stories are significant by voting for them on news aggregator sites such as dig.com. Another difference between Web 1.0 and Web 2.0 is the dynamic content. In Web 1.0, once pages were uploaded to a server, for others to view, they seldom change it. Web 2.0 In Web 2.0, information is very dynamic and pages change extremely fast, sometimes even while you are viewing them. Blogs, podcasts and wikis are examples of web template or content creation tools. Blogs, such as Blogger, allows users to create and share their stories on their own blogs for free. You can easily add audio content to a blog with a microphone and podcast tools, such as Pod Podomatic. Podcasting allows virtually anyone to become a radio distro gay, talk show host, or even a recording artist. A wiki is a web page application that allows people to collaborate with others to create content. The best known wiki is Wikipedia, a multilingual free access internet encyclopedia that hosts 20 million articles in 287 languages that are created by a West community of collaborators around the world. There are thousands of wikis that focus on such things as travel, learning how to do almost anything, and creating multilingual dictionary. Beside the ease of use and mostly free features, Web 2.0 is also popular for its social application. 
You have probably used Web 2.0 social sites such as Facebook and YouTube. These services allow users to not only read, listen or watch the content, but users can also interact with the content creators and other users by liking or disliking the content, posting comments and even sharing the content with their friends. Today, the growing of Web 2.0 tools is so fast that it can be difficult to keep track of them all. I hope this online course will help you learn some of these tools in your classroom and engage your students' creativity and interest. Thank you.